Hello guys, this is Ray from shortcrashcourse.com. So the mission has always been to create a way where you can learn anything quick with practical straight to the point, short and concise crash courses. So in today's course, we're going to be showing you how to conduct keyword research in relation to your website. Now, there are a lot of keyword research tools out there like a SEMrush, a Hreshref, and a host of others that allows you to conduct keyword research. And the most important thing in keyword research is getting to understand the difficulty of a keyword before you write on them. Keyword research is very important and imperative that you cannot write your next piece of content without conducting a keyword for that particular you know, content because this is what is going to help you rank. So now, if you're trying to compete on a difficult keyword or for a difficult keyword that the big guys are already ranking for it's going to be very difficult sometimes you might not even have the chance you know to rank for that keyword so that's the reason why it's good to know the difficulty of a keyword before you write on them and now the global tools out there like uh, semrush and all that can only show you the difficulty of a keyword in a general context in a global context not in relation to a particular site so for instance this particular keyword difficulty could say, okay, this keyword is difficult, it's 79% difficult, it's 82% difficult, it's 90% difficult. That difficulty is not in relation to a particular site. That difficulty could be difficult for your site and easier for wikipedia.com. It could be difficult for your site and easier for investopedia.com. I don't even get the point. So now, on our keyword research um, 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 short crash course, on our keyword research course, it, it, we're going to show you how to do keyword research in relation to your site. So now, for this course, we're going to be using two tools, the Keyword Everywhere extension, which I have here on my browser, and the SEO Quick. So I already have these two guys installed. So you're going to have them installed on your browser so you could follow through. So let's get into it. Now, if you want to have access to our course, you can always access our site, uh, shortcrashcourse.com, and you see a lot of our courses here that we've done, or you can access them from our I account profile where you can have access to them, ask questions, and so on and so forth. So now, today we're going to, you know, use this particular site, this particular site as a case study shortcrashcourse.com now it's relatively a new site uh, but we've done a couple of keyword research on some of the keywords you see here and they are easy to rank for this site and like I said earlier keyword research in text could take some time but then again once you do the right thing once it comes up you begin to get um, results for it so let's assume that we want to do a keyword research for this particular site right so now i'm searching for the word financial accounting course right and now this has a good search volume 2900 and a good cpc three dollar 62 cent that's good so but now you don't just jump and pick up the keyword and say oh good 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 this keyword is good i can write for it and all that no you have to check for the difficulty so now using this tool now the 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 the, the keyword everywhere extension it says the seo difficulty is 73 of 100 and the off page difficulty is 73 of 100 and the on page difficulty is 72 which means that what it's trying to say that this keyword is difficult right but i could have a site that this particular matrix will not work for i could still rank uh, you know right for this content and rank for it right so, but we are not going to rely on this. Just like I said, we're going to look for a, a way to compare our site and the current ranking sites for the same keyword. So, how we're going to do that is using the Alexa rank. Okay, so you see we have the Alexa rank here, which is provided by SEO Quick. If I toggle this off, you see that goes away. If I toggle it on, it comes back. So you need to have the SEO Quick extension to be able to have this information, this matrix. Okay, so now the, the, the criteria that is used here, remember back in the days in school, 
when you take first or some other person takes first and second and third, those are the big boys, those are the smart ones, those are the brainy ones. Then the guys that takes around 50, 60, 70, and 80, and also on and so forth, they are the small guys, the ones that fail, right? So that's the same matrix that is used on Alexa. The smaller your rank, the bigger you are. And the bigger your rank, the smaller you are. So just like in school, the grading system they used back then, one, first, second, third, fourth, and so on and so forth. So now, guys that have this smaller rank are actually big guys that have a good backlink, that have, have been around for a while, that have quite a lot of traffic and all that, okay? Like they see the Coursera here, 208, you see 1000 EDX, you know, these are big guys. So how you can easily know they are big guys, even without being a tech person, even without being, you know, around the, 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 the SEO thing for a while, is checking their rank here, okay? So I could know EDX, I could know Coursera, but you might not know them because maybe you've not been in the field for a while. So the easy way to know them is checking their rank. You see 4,000, this Allison, you see 4,000 years still Allison. Then we go down here where you have 3,000 years, you have 108 years, Udemy, right? Investopedia 505. So now you see this keyword is filled up with the big guys. Okay. So now, how you can easily know that even without knowing the big guys, is their ranking here. So which means that I cannot rank for this keyword because my site has a rank of 500 and something thousand, okay? 500 and something thousand because if you check here, this is short crash course. We have here 598,000K. So it's not among the big boys. So we need to look for a keyword that is, you know, has low difficulty that is among, you know, the guys are not really that big. So I'm going to go ahead and click here to have different other, you know, options, you see, a different other option. And this matrix and all that are being, you know, pulled out from the, the keyword everywhere extension. So, so let's try the second one, financial accounting courses online free. So that's what I'm going to check now. Okay, so this is out. Now let me check for the rank two from the big okay we have Allison here again 4000 we have another 4000 oh there's a guy here with 106 this is this is beginning to 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 get to what we're looking at right but not really there because we need to have some guys within the 500000 and bigger 1 million then it going to it, that, that's going to show you that okay yeah you can rank here so now this 106000 this 1000 okay 9000 208 3000 108 oh that's uh 64000 well a little bit okay but but i need something very low difficulty i need something low difficulty it's not that this one can work but it might really take a long time for me to get here it might really need some kind of more work for me to get here i need something that i can just write maybe a 1500 word and do a little bit of on page optimization and boom i'm here on this page okay so i'm still going to go ahead and still check for something else so now I pick up this again and check, okay, let's see this guy, free online accounting courses with certificate in Canada. Let's try that. Let's try that and see. Uh, it's a long tail keyword, very, very long, so that might make it more a bit easier. So now this keyword is here. Let's check for the search volume. The data is still loading. Okay, 390. That's quite considerable. So let's now check for guys. Okay, 1,000 here, uh, 4,000 here. Or 106 here. Oh, 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 we got it. 551,000. Yeah. So this is more like it. Okay. So let's still go down. 4,000, 1,000, 131,000. Impressive. 9,108. And then 4.62 million. I've seen my mates. Okay. I've seen people that I'm even more better than. So what this therefore means and what this entails is that I can actually run for this keyword on the site shortcrashcourse.com because I have seen someone that has a 4.62 million rank and the person is ranking on the first page on the first 10 result and somebody here 500 something thousand. So in a nutshell, what I'm now going to do is to, you know, write a very detailed content that, you know, has a comprehensive information covers a lot of stuff and all that then have keyword modifiers and things that will make people to click mine rather than uh, any other one that you have here and also show google that my content is way more better yes you have to do better 
once you get a keyword like that and you want to write don't just write the same thing every other person is writing do better in your own add more uh, uh, modifiers if they were writing about 10 you do 20 you do 30 you do 40 right if if they if, if they did not have the the year year keyword on the tag you show it updated 2022 okay those things are very important then another thing i want to show you is this after i've gotten this the next thing i want to do is to control copy this keyword then i search it here and see if anybody has written extensively using this particular keyword on the title on the first uh, first paragraph and so on and so forth to optimize their content well so if i see the one of one which means there is nobody that google has specifically rank for this keyword on the first page it's a very beautiful green light a very beautiful green light which means that if i optimize this keyword i write on it i optimize it very well i have a high chance of ranking okay so basically that is how you get to you know get a keyword to rank in relation to your website so in our next video i'm going to explore more on this for now bye